my children, let's apply the properties that we have learned in doing these two questions. These two questions were given you as assignment yesterday. These properties are uh, based questions. Actually, you can do it directly also and you have done it directly. But you can ease our work by, find, by using the properties. See, the first determinant here, the first determinant, the second row and the first row, if you observe very carefully, the second row, you can take x as a common factor of a second row. You can take x outside the determinant from the second row. You can take x outside the determinant from the second row. From second row, we take an x common as x was a common factor in the second row. What do we get? The first two rows of the determinant are identical. And another property, the determinant vanishes now. We have applied two properties here. One property we have applied when we took x common from the second row. And next property we applied is the two rows are identical. So the value of the determinant is 0. Or we have done this question by expansion of the determinant along a row or a column. But the usage of properties has simplified the task. Second property, second question, we can also ease, we can make it simpler by using the determinants. Using the property of the determinants. So let's do that. Column 2 entries, if you just see, column 2 and column 1 ka difference dekho aap. You just see the entry difference of column 2 and column 1 ka difference. It's not the column 2 minus column 1. It's rather very simpler if you subtract the two columns. Even you can do that row wise also. You can subtract the rows. When you subtract the rows or subtract the columns, the entries become, some entries become very simpler. Right now they are all four digit numbers. But when you perform the difference of columns or difference of rows, some of the entries become simpler. Like uh, subtracting column 2 and column 1 here and putting the difference of the 2 in the column 2. So what, I, what do I get the result as? Column 2 minus column 1, 1 here and here also 1. So as a result of the application of this property, remember this property we did was property, fifth property in the last video. That which says that by we can apply this column operation to any column, we can add seller times the corresponding entries of another column. So using this property, the entries of column 2 have become very simpler. Now we can evaluate the determinant rather very easily than originally. Originally there were four, four digit number entries. Now two entries have become very simpler. So we can now evaluate the determinant by expanding row product of diagonal. Not by expanding, it is by product of diagonal minus product of octagonal. So what do we get the result as? Minus 2. So the usage of properties has simplified the entry of the determinant. So we are just learning here how to use the properties, how the usage of properties simplifies the entries and hence the procedure and the process of evaluation becomes simpler. So let's do more questions on the properties of determinants. There is one more question that I gave you in the assignment. It is... Uh, Question number where we had determinant containing three digit numbers. Let's do that one. Again, the assignment question that we are doing. All these questions are assignment questions. So, we have one more question there. 
टू में चेंजेस हो रहे हैं तो हम कॉलम थ्री के चेंजेस करने के लिए कॉलम टू यूज नहीं कर सकते बिकॉज कॉलम टू इज ऑलरेडी गेटिंग चेंज इन द फर्स्ट ऑपरेशन सेकेंड टाइम हम ऑपरेशन करेंगे तो उसमें कॉलम टू को यूज नहीं कर सकते बिकॉज कॉलम टू इज ऑलरेडी अंडर गोइंग इज ऑलरेडी अंडर गोइंग चेंजेस तो हमने कॉलम वन में कोई चेंजेस नहीं किए इसलिए हमने दोनों समय कॉलम वन की हेल्प ली है तो कॉलम वन की हेल्प से हम कॉलम टू और कॉलम थ्री को सिंप्लीफाई कर रहे हैं तो वे सिंप्लीफाइंग दी एंट्रीज ऑफ कॉलम टू कॉलम टू माइनस कॉलम वन करके कॉलम वन एज इट इज कॉलम वन में कोई चेंजेस नहीं कॉलम टू माइनस कॉलम वन की या टू की पास टू एंट्रीज भी इंटरमेटली सिंपलर हो रही है कॉलम थ्री माइनस कॉलम वन करके टू या टू या फिर टू work has been reduced the time the speed of calculation is also very fast this way this is how the properties have simplified our task so you can see where we can apply the properties wherever we find the entries are little uh, a little of higher order when the calculations are on the numbers are huge or the numbers are huge here some questions you will do in, uh, in the next video where you will find the entries are algebraic you will pick up questions from exercise 4.2 of the chapter which is based on properties and determinants in the next video